All right, this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com, and today I have a special treat for you. I have the Omega Vert Juicer, and as you can see, I have all different types of fruits and vegetables. You may have seen my other videos where I juice kind of one thing at a time and kind of do a simple demo, but today you're going to get the full menage a trois and see all the vert juicing, all different kinds of things from cucumbers to celery to cilantro, carrots, spinach, uh, collard leaves, even have some fruits. Grapes, cherries, cherries with a pit. Now that's really impressive. Bet you can't wait to see that. Uh, oranges and apples. So first, we're gonna talk a little bit about juicing and why it's so beneficial. I think juicing is really important for us because we don't eat enough fresh fruits and vegetables in our diet. And with the Omega Vert, it allows you to easily eat more fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet. For example, I mean, I couldn't, well I could if I wanted to, but most people couldn't sit here and eat all this celery. I mean, I could eat this for dinner if I wanted to. But most people would never do that. But if you juiced all this celery, you know, you'd have a couple cups of juice and you could easily drink that celery. Now, celery is very high in electrolytes. It's very good for you. Replenish all your electrolytes. And uh, if you juiced it, it's a lot easier to consume. You're going to get the benefits of all this celery except for the fiber. Now, when we take out the fiber, the nutrients go right into our bloodstream a lot more easily than if we're, you know, eating our food and chewing it. So with that, let's go ahead and start juicing, and why don't we juice the celery first? So as you can see with the Omega Bird Juicer, you literally just drop the celery in, and as you can see, it's, it's self-feeding. I don't even need to push it in, it's just taking it, it's sucking it in, and the juice com is coming out. Now one side of the Omega Bird Juicer comes the juice, and the other side comes the pulp. Now the, uh, the Bird Juicer has an interesting design, it has a little flap inside the machine, which basically keeps the pulp inside the machine to basically get the full pressing before it's allowed to come out of the machine. So this juicer will yield more juice than other single auger style juicers in my tests. And especially on leafy greens, it'll yield more than most other juicers on the market. So you just saw the celery. Now let's go ahead and do the spinach. I like to get the uh, baby spinach to juice. It's really easy, it comes pre-washed, since washing spinach can be a little bit challenging sometimes. We're gonna go ahead and use the pusher. Now I do wanna mention that you should never put anything into the juicer besides the pusher. Never put your hands, your fingers, or you know knives or anything else. You always wanna just use the pusher or the fruit or vegetable that you're juicing. So say we're gonna put in a carrot, you could actually use the carrot as a pusher. You know, you could put some spinach in here, and you can use the carrot to push it down in there and once you put the carrot in you can just let it go. It's just going to go and self feed and the carrot's going to go right through. So you can see the pulp coming out and now it's orange. That's the carrot pulp coming out. Carrots are very high in beta carotene. Really good for us. Uh, we have uh, orange carrots here. Now, you know, some people are concerned that the orange carrots may be high in sugar because they haven't hybridized. You know, but it's, let me tell you this, it's a lot better to drink a glass full of carrot juice than any kind of, you know, soda or anything like that. It's a lot less sugar in the carrot juice. So, you know, it's always good, better, best. And if you're drinking carrot juice, that's better than the soda. But instead of drinking maybe carrot juice, you could drink celery juice. That'd be better. But we, we don't want to, you know, always drink the same thing. We want to always change up our diet and get new foods in our diet. So, you know, maybe today I'll do carrots. Tomorrow I'll do celery. The next day I'll do, you know, a cilantro or cucumber. And so if we rotate all these different foods into our diet, we're going to get a whole spectrum of different nutrients in our diet and that's what we really want. Our bodies want different nutrients and we don't exactly know what we need so my solution is to just eat a wide variety of things and so today we're going to juice cilantro maybe tomorrow juice parsley so hopefully you get the idea. And I like to do mostly combination juices. I like to do a vegetable combination so including carrots and here's a cucumber. Look at that. We could just put the cucumber in there. It's literally going to self feed. The machine sucks it in. No, you know, um, pushing is even required. There's some juicers that you really need to sit there and push really hard to get the produce into the machine. With the Omega Vert juicer, you don't have that problem. So cilantro is really good. It's a good uh, detoxifier. They say that it's good for getting heavy metals out of your body, for detoxing heavy metals. Cilantro is one of the things that's really difficult to juice, especially in something like a centrifugal ejection style juicer. It will not yield hardly anything. But look, in the Omega Vert Juicer, as we're putting it in, we're getting nice green cilantro juice. Let's go ahead and put the rest. And it just tastes so good.
Next is one of my favorite things to juice. These are collard greens. So collard greens, kale, and other dark leafy greens are really important to juice because we don't eat enough greens in our diet. Greens are very high in nutrition. And once again, the easiest way for these guys is that you're going to basically want to roll it up. And once you roll it up, I like to feed the, the leaf in first and because this ends a little bit more firm, it'll allow you to easily push it in. Now you might need to push it in a little bit, but it doesn't take much force to push that collard leaf into the machine. So once again, we'll take a collard leaf, roll it up, put it in. So collards aren't just for cooking. You can juice them and they're really good. Now if you're a beginner or you're just starting to juice, I definitely wouldn't juice as much as, however how good it is for you, I wouldn't juice a whole head of collard leaves and drink straight collard juice. It can make you sick. So as you see on this side of the table, some of these things here, the celery, the cucumbers, and the carrots should always make up about three quarters of your juice. So three quarters of the container that you're juicing should be one of these three, and then maybe the quarter of the rest of the container could be some kind of leafy green, whether it's spinach, collards, or kale. So go ahead and put this in there. Now it can be really hard to juice things like leafy greens. I mean, some things like apples and things could be easier, or even an orange. I mean, I could sit here and take this orange, which we'll juice in a minute, and we'll squeeze, and you can see the juice come out. But I literally can't squeeze this as hard. I mean, maybe if I was Arnold or something, you could squeeze the juice out. But so that's where the juicer is really effective. It allows you to separate the nutrients from the fiber, and the nutrients and the juice is what feeds you. So let's go ahead and put some more cucumber in here and we're going to finish up our green juice here and then we're going to go ahead and move into the fruits. So you always want to just, you know, let the juicer feed it in on its own time. You don't want to try to start cramming things in. If you put one carrot, you know it's self-feeding. If you put two or three carrots in at a time, it may stop the juicer, which isn't necessarily a problem because you do have a handy reverse switch. You're just going to have to reverse it and then you know, let things work itself through. See, so I fed it too quickly. What happens is that it stopped. You're going to go ahead and hit the reverse momentarily and then go ahead and go forward again and it just worked right through it and you can start to feed more produce in there. So as you can see, we basically just made about five cups of juice of uh, vegetable juice in the Omega Vert 330 juicer. Uh, the Vert juicer does come with a 10 year warranty, it runs at a low 80 RPMs. It is my favorite juicer right now for juicing a combination of things. It does really well, it does carrots really efficiently, as well as greens, and it will also juice wheatgrass. But that being said, if you wanted to juice wheatgrass straight, you may want to get a, the horizontal auger because this juicer, when you're juicing wheatgrass straight, may tend to squeak a little bit. But if you're juicing wheatgrass along with celery and carrots and cucumbers at the same time, then you don't have the squeaking problem. But that being said, this when you're juicing wheatgrass in the Omega Vert, you will get a higher yield. In my test, it's been 10% higher, actually, than uh, the horizontal auger style juicers. So this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com showing you how to make green juice in the all-new Omega Vert 330 juicer. Be sure to visit discountjuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.